my name is Marta Białek Graczyk. I'm the I'm the president of the board of the Association of the Creative Initiatives L. There is this funny Polish letter, it's E with a tail <laughs> and this is L and this is our name and this is our uh, sign in our logo and uh, we we I, I found it with a friend my friends I found it uh, this NGO almost 20 years ago during studies and uh, our main idea from the very very beginning was to support other people, uh, at the beginning mostly young people, later people of all ages, in uh, realizing uh, they, they, their own initiatives for common good. So we work as a kind of a incubator in which we invite people with different ideas from different backgrounds, younger and older and artists and uh, and educators and trainers and just just citizens and uh, with some ideas what can be done in the local community to make this life better and uh, so so this is like the core of uh, who we are and uh, at, the, at the beginning we were working mostly with young people because um, we were younger too as a group of uh, funders and that was very natural for us but we noticed like 15 or almost 15 years ago that there is this fascinating group of uh, of senior citizens and um, and then this let's say 12 or 15 years ago it was um, completely i can say a new group uh, <laughs> in Poland and in, uh, in social activities, because you know we we don't have this uh, we don't have this um, uh, history of active uh, citizens. Uh, we don't have this uh, history of active senior citizens as in states, for example. Yeah, that everybody who go on retirement then is starting to being active in their local community. So we don't have anything of, of this, and like. This 12 years ago, there was really, really nothing. So we somehow discovered this group, that this is a group with the great potential, completely unused, that in Poland is um, seniors are mostly dedicated to the family life. Yes, so, so like, you know, as a grandparents or, or to help their own children. So there is really lack of this uh, tradition of being active or doing something not only for your family and for yourself. So, so we simply noticed that this group exists and then we have this uh, great chance to cooperate uh, what we still do with uh, Polish American Freedom Foundation. And, <clears throat> and thanks to this cooperation, we started a kind of a um, program a kind of an incubator for uh, seniors who would like to do something for their local community and it was 12 years ago and um, since then we, we incubated more than 500 such different projects all around Poland run by uh, um, seniors but uh, it, it wasn't enough for us so uh, since like many years, we still, we all the time, I can say, look for some new ideas, what can uh, senior people, seniors, what can they do, what kind of uh, offer we can um, propose, what kind of um, methods we can use or methodologies. Uh, <clears throat> so, uh, so, so, so we, we, we kind of experiment, yeah? And we do quite a many kind of um, pilotage programs, I would say, in which we want to um, uh, experiment on some new method and then find out if it's working or not. So we use um, a kind of a pilotage programs and we run some research, some evaluation um, to find out if it's working or not. So, um, so in this story, 
I would like to press that um, that we started this this our experience with senior as mentors from group of seniors, not from a group of uh, or not as an organization who works with young children. Yeah, so seniors were like in the center. <coughs> Maybe I can show you some <clears throat> some pictures. Mm -hmm. Few few pictures from to to give you like the the atmosphere the the atmosphere of our our program to show you the atmosphere. So we 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 knew we we knew that seniors have this great potential, and then they have uh, some um, they have time, they have some uh, strong sides, they have some patience, they have some their own their own passions to share. So that this is a good point, starting point to give something for for children, maybe with some difficulties, maybe with some needs, maybe with some extra uh, extra problems. So that was the, our starting point, I would say. And, <clears throat> and we, uh, we knew that there are seniors uh, in different places all over the country, um, no matter if they are, um, in a better condition and a little bit worse condition, no matter if they are already active or they just maybe want to be more active or no matter if they are, I don't know, very well educated uh, or from some less privileged uh, uh, backgrounds. We, we knew that they exist because we were already working with them. So then, then we were uh, uh, we, we started to think about finding a partners, a partner organization who specialize in working with children, uh, who will be open for such a uh, program with senior as mentors. So we have this very very long recruitment process. Let's say. We were interviewing many organizations. We were uh, observing them. We, at the beginning, we asked uh, experts, different experts from all over the Poland to um, point us uh, some interesting organizations uh, or schools working with uh, kids open for new ideas. And this is how we, um, how we find out those organizations. We were asking men, them many questions. We were checking out if they are ready for such a program, if it suits to them, if, uh, <clears throat> if they see that the kids they're working with are, could be open for such idea. So like a huge recruitment process to find the, the right partners um to 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 start this uh, start this program so um, finally we find to and we wanted in in this pilotage we wanted them to be uh, from different backgrounds to check out what is working better what is working worse so finally one organization was a school uh it's a, it's not a public school it's um what's the english name it's not a private school, it's not a public school, it's a school run by association. And there is, there is, no, there is no fee in this school because the, they get the money from the Ministry of Education and then they, um, they fundraise some extra money. So, uh, so this is school open to everyone and, uh, and also mostly for, for kids with some problems or with some special needs. <clears throat> and it was a school from the um, rather small town in the middle of Poland. And the second was a, was a kind of a um, club uh, for, um, for kids in some, I would say, underprivileged area of Warsaw. Um, and with a completely different kind of network, and uh, already connected to many um, 
many people from, I would even say more like celebrities here. So we have this feeling that, um, that we, we, we find two different organizations, two different types with different uh, needs, with different uh, networks, with different, um, different group of seniors around, you know? In this middle-sized uh, city, it was more like, like, like regular seniors, yes, like nothing, no, 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 no one, no one, uh, some, some especially educated or some, no, 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 no one from some very special, special background, like, like people living in this country, in this city <clears throat> with different, uh, uh, with different life situation, mostly women, of course. And in the second place, uh, as I said, some even some celebrities, like some senior celebrities, uh, uh, um, quite well known from the field of culture, or some rec re recognized uh, in, in um, public by, by, by public opinion. Yes? So completely different different places. So um, of course we 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 started from looking for uh, when we've already decided who we were. Uh, with the way we are looking for those seniors. So as I told you, um, we, we were um, helping those organizations to use the networks they, they've already had and to look for the right, uh, right people around. You know? In Poland, I have no idea if, if you have it in uh, Bulgaria or uh, Catalonia. <clears throat> in Poland, we have very strong network of this is called um, third age universities. I don't know if you are familiar with that. No, this is quite incredible uh, network of um, organizations all around Poland. Now more than 600 of such organizations. It's a kind of a new university. Uh, at the beginning, they were they were run mostly by universities. Nowadays, they are run by cultural centers, by local authorities, so by different kind of um, um, bodies. But but like main idea was that the, the, there should be a way to go to the university when you are a senior. So this is how it started many, many years ago in Poland. And this is really strong. And very often people who want to still be active, who wants to still like spend time in interesting way and who wants to still develop uh, your, uh, they, them, themselves, they go to those places. So this is in Poland, we, a kind of a natural place to contact with potential uh, potential seniors interested in different kinds of projects. But from the other side, very often those are people who, who are much more concentrated on th themselves, which is nice, but, uh, but uh, maybe it's not um, this what we need in, in the program when, when, when you want senior to become a, a mentor, yeah? Uh, and working with a child. Mm -hmm. And the kids who are in our program, they were like experiencing uh, a, a kind of a lack of attention yeah, from their families. Mm -hmm. So any other attention, like good attention to them was um, something they were grateful. Mm -hmm. And um, I don't know how it works exactly. Uh, it needs some more studies, I guess. But uh, I have this feeling that um, in a way they are better than, than, uh, than, than mentors in the age of their parents because there is no competition. Yes, there is no kind of a competition unless there are some cases like this that parents, um, parents think that um, that mentor it's a, uh, it's a, there is, that there is someone to, to they want to uh, com com compete with, yes? Uh, but quite rarely, but mostly there is no this kind of a competition because, you know, mentor, it's 
older. It's someone completely different from the completely different uh, age group, from the completely different uh, um, place. Yes, with different experience. So I find it. I find it a good uh, good side, and maybe it will make those relationships e easier thanks to this. And also, I have this feeling that um, very important is the uh, uh, senior motivation that quite often, probably everywhere we live, probably in Bulgaria too, uh, that, um, you know, sometimes they grant uh, uh, children live away, yes? They are far away. So they have these feelings towards uh, children and they, they have this, this uh, this place in their lives uh, and in their emotions to, to 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 have this relationship with some with some uh, with some kid, which I think is is also very very good. So those are some I would say strong uh, strong uh, um, sides of this and. Um, because we concentrated very much on um, on some passions, yes. So we are not concentrated in our program on only, on, for example, on helping kids with homework. Yes, we are uh, more about meeting two personalities in some common actions. So then, sometimes when it's goes really well this age doesn't exist yeah. and it doesn't really matter um if someone is older or younger if she or he uh, has something to share has something uh which is fascinating and interesting and and of course attention a lot of attention a lot of patience um a kind of i would say mindfulness uh, uh, towards younger uh, younger people and Alba was I was asking about this uh, this how uh, do we con connect yes and how do we um, um, uh, connection connection the, the mentees and uh, mentors so yeah so this is a kind of a magic yeah, I don't know if you don't have the same, uh, if you have the same experience, but uh, it's a kind of a magic, I would say. <clears throat> we always concentrate on um, mm, on to, on uh, on this. What what is in common from the one side? What do they have in common? Two people, younger and older, and what are the differences? And we are trying to keep this balance between those similarities and differences, because we find out that when those personalities are too similar, then this comfort uh, of their work is really high, but um, but there is the less chance to to develop, to overcome some issues, to uh, to step further, yeah, in, in the personal development. And from the other side, where there are two personalities which are very, very different, then uh, then then the, 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 they are completely uh, uncomfortable with with each other. And then again, this this possibility of develop is really really small so it's always something between and keeping this balance to make to give them this feeling of okay we we feel each other but there are some differences and it makes us somehow develop here so so this is this is uh, um, this is the way we we try to do it yeah and of course it's always like this that um in both sides can decide yes both sides can say yes or no to this match and uh, mm, <coughs> this is this is something we find very very important a kind of a free choice mm, for for this connection in this program we, we we thought okay let's make it more subtle let's make it more delicate so so our main aim was to somehow 
find out what is the uh, the ch child potential, what is the child's interest, what is the child uh, um, dream uh, from the one side, and from the other side, what is the mentor's strong point, what uh, she or he can really share. Yes. Um, so we were more, more like into um, showing showing up um, each other, uh, our ourselves, our interests, our strong parts, and then running some activities in which we can really develop, share, be, um, like on our potential. I also think that, you know, every kind of um, a little project uh, together, it's a good, uh, it's a good point. Uh, let's cook together in a pair and a kind of a little competition is nice. Like, let's say, okay, these two pairs are cooking something for the first meal, yes? These two pairs are cooking something for the main uh, um, dish, yes? And this for, for dessert, it's a great fun. So do, do something together as a small, um, small project. It's a way to, to learn how we are working, how we communicate, uh, the best the best way, I think. <laughs> okay, so Lena, Alba, so so I, I think that that that's it. Thank you for this for, for for this discussion. Do you have any any other questions or something you would like to share? <laughs> uh thank you and good 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 luck in all your activities thank you very much